This is Twit. Big surprise, I thought. Jeff Bezos uh, yesterday said, yeah, yeah, I understand that people are feeling like there's too many voice assistants, but mm -hmm. I think you're going to think of them all as your imaginary friends and address each one <laughs> individually based on their skill set. Hmm. Towards yeah, that sure. end, he has decided that uh, he and uh, and Cortana should uh, get married and have children. I like it. <laughs> That's an yeah. interesting. So, do you have a better vision of how this might work? <laughs> oh, I think. Well, we, we know how it, we know it's going to work in the short term, which is a little bit awkwardly. You're going to mm -hmm. have to actually say a skill open. Uh, or it'll be a skill. skill. It'll be right. a skill. It'll work like a skill, right? <laughs> and will you do the same? You could do the same with Cortana. I could, uh, yeah. And, and so if yeah. I do that on my Windows PC, if I say, hey, you know, Cordy baby, uh, <laughs> open the skill, then I will continue to talk to my PC and it will be my Echo? Well, it won't be your Echo. It will be the mm. Alexa service. It'll have my skills. Right. It'll, you don't actually have to have yeah. an Echo, I believe. Right. This it, is kind of neat. Right. I like this idea. And then similarly, because, because yeah. for instance, and Bezos said this, one of the things Cortana's good at is, is you know, accessing my Outlook calendar and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, if I wanted <laughs> to add an appointment to my Outlook calendar, I could say, Echo, open Cortana. Mm -hmm. Cortana, and, and would Cortana then say, hi, Leo, I remember you. And I, think. <laughs> and I would say, Cortana, uh, add something to my Outlook calendar. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. We think so, that's how it'll work. <laughs> does anyone else have the same fear I do about this, right? That uh, it's interesting to me that Jeff Bezos was the one who came up with this idea. Yeah. Isn't right? that the, the market leader, if yeah, you will, in yeah. this kind of technology. Yeah. Um, the one thing that stands out about this, despite its, I mean, a, a, aside from its kind of dominance at this point in time, is the sheer number of skills that it has, right? It's been, and yeah. those things feed each other, right? It's, it's kind of right. interesting. Um, and when you look at the field of potential competitors, obviously Google stands out as one that has the potential to mm -hmm. compete on that same level. Apple, not really, but Apple has a really strong ecosystem, so that thing will just kind of survive. But mm -hmm. those two guys, there isn't as much impetus for them to join into this kind of a partnership, right? I mean, you could almost see them keeping their separate, uh, Apple especially, yeah. maybe. Um, yeah. You know, it's funny, we, we are saying... Yeah. We're saying Iskala is the leader in this space, mm -hmm. but if you look at it um, like Jan Dawson did from Jackdaw Research, he's like, you know, mm -hmm. if you actually look at how many potential users of these four different voice assistants there are, Microsoft and Amazon are the weak ones, right? And yeah. the yes. bigger potential ecosystems are Apple and Google. So I don't want to say right. two turkeys make an eagle, but... <laughs> well, okay, um, but actually that is that is literally where I was kind of heading, uh, you know. Right, uh, yeah. And, you know, Sprint and T-Mobile are the companies that would combine, not AT&T and Verizon, yeah. <laughs> right? You know, exactly. in other words, <laughs> there's a reason partnerships happen, and it's not just because these companies are altruistic. So yeah. I guess my worry here is that... Yeah, uh, like I said, Apple, Siri will just be established as a thing because Apple. It's just they have dedicated fans mm -hmm. and those guys are going to use the thing on the phone. It makes sense. Um, Google is just a behemoth. I mean, there's nothing you can do to stop it. it, um, it barbarians at the gates and so forth. Uh, Amazon's, you know, uh, success with these devices has been surprising. It should be surprising to everybody. So yeah. he wants to get into Microsoft's business customer base, which makes tons of sense. It's kind of all they have to offer here, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what it they is. have to offer. Yep. Um, but my worry, ultimately, is that what, what happens to Cortana is that it just becomes one of 1,100 different skills that are available to a And that's that's yep. it. Because like you said, you know, the, the big base of users here is on mobile. And that's Android mm -hmm. especially, but also iOS. And right. so, you know, they've had, uh, Amazon has had success selling speakers or whatever these little things are called. Um, to some single digit number of millions, I'm sure, maybe double digit. By the way, there's an enormous, like, like oh God. Truck coming up into <laughs> your huge truck. Oh, oh, the <laughs> asphalt yeah. truck is here. And yep. Oh boy. Uh, boy. Yeah. So I'm not I sure, am, it's, but I, I would, I would not sure I agree house. with your premise because, I mean, mm -hmm. the guy's right in terms of units. Like there are more people can do Android and Google mm -hmm. Assistant, and well, then more people can do Siri, certainly than can own Echoes. But remember... But who, um, who has used the most? I don't use Siri nearly as much yeah. as I use Echo, nor do I use Google Assistant nearly as much. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Uh, well, right. But if you like, like how many um, skeleton devices have been sold? Would we don't guess, know. They don't we... say. No, well, let's there say is it's a number. 10, Hold on. 20, there is a number. <laughs> some number of millions. It's an it's estimate. It's not a big number. No, it's not a big yeah, number. Yeah, it's, it's an estimated it's, number. But it's, let's it's, give it a, let's let's say give 10. a huge number. Let's say 10. 10 million. It ain't right, 80. Well, it ain't 120. Yeah. So according to Microsoft, 145 million people use Cortana on Windows 10 PCs. Right, we know and there you know are what? 500 million. But are they monthly active users, that, daily yes, active that's users, the, I, that's and that's yearly active question. users? And what does it mean to use Cortana? I bet it isn't by voice, right? Well, you I use, use Cortana. It every time Am I using it when I hit the Windows key so and funny. type to search? Is that using yep. it? Yep, okay. it is. Well, then I, <laughs> I use think. it all the time. <laughs> I guess my point, though, is I don't mean to suggest that's a big number, even though it sounds like a big number. I actually right. think the problem on the PC and the problem for Microsoft, that's the problem for Cortana, is that those users aren't particularly engaged, right? You're on a PC, you're there to get work done, you're not super interested in talking to things and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. That's the type of stuff people would do out in the world, you know, with their phones. And I, I, and I think that's where the lack of a mobility strategy kind of hurts Microsoft because uh, it, whether it's Amazon or Microsoft, you could add that app to your phone, and some people have, but I, I bet the usage there is like, less than single digit low. I bet it's yes. really, really low. Me too. Mm -hmm. And it's just, and I think that's going to be the problem going forward. That's part of the reason I think these two guys, these two things are getting together because yeah. they realize. That. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about, if you think about it, like, okay, what did Amazon get out of this partnership? They, right. they right now are trying to build up their set of business offerings, like with things like Chime, you know, which is their Skype competitor. Um, and the easiest way for them to build up their business offerings through through Excel is to partner with Microsoft because they do have a lot of really good Outlook and Office integration with Cortana. Okay, so you see what they get out of it. Um, what does Microsoft get out of it? So Microsoft right now is in the fourth place of the four assistants. Um, they have basically no consumer play because there's not even a speaker out yet that can work with Cortana. It's coming this fall, the first one, the Harmon Garden. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. So Microsoft automatically gets to be, in a way, um, part of the Amazon ecosystem, right? So they now have got some hooks into Echo and Dot and Show. Um, but I, I feel like Amazon's getting more out of this than Microsoft. I agree completely. I, I, I think this is almost really Microsoft yeah. did it just so people would know Cortana exists. Yes. Yeah. I know. Here's what's weird about this. This has been in the making since May 2016. So when yeah. we spoke to Ryan Gavin in January at CES mm -hmm. about Cortana, and I expressed my concerns that, you know, you guys are moving too slow. What's going on? And he said, it's no problem. He talked about the element of trust and that one of the ways in which these things have to work properly is that you know you're always going to get the right answer and you know it has your personal information and you trust that company and, you know, yada, yada, mm -hmm. yada. So, I mean, he, they must have known about that. Obviously, they knew about it. Um, said nothing, you know. And <laughs> we've been questioning where are the speakers, where are the devices, where, you know, yeah. how do you get this beyond the PC? They're adding, you know, Cortana features to Windows 10, you know, the ability to mm -hmm. access Cortana from the lock screen or whatever. It's like, yeah, okay, well, for the you know, few people that find that compelling, I guess that's a nice addition, but it doesn't really help spread this thing out into the yeah. world, right? Um, I don't know how this helps spread it out into the world either. I mean, beyond, I, you know, it kind yeah. of reminds me of people's attitudes toward Microsoft kind of classically on the PC where you kind of had to deal with Microsoft, meaning Windows and Office primarily, because that's mm -hmm. what you needed to get work done. It was either kind of thrust upon you by the workplace or you, you just needed it for that compatibility, it wasn't something that you loved or cared about or wanted, mm. but it was something you needed. And that this mm -hmm. kind of makes Cortana that for these people. It's like, oh, good. Now I, now I can access my Outlook calendar on my dot device or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, eh, yep. okay, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, it, you know, they're saying over time that this integration is going to get smoother. We don't really know what that looks like, right? But um, right. Michael Gillett had a, a potential scenario. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, what if you could do an order a Surface book? And she would say, yeah, I can't yeah, do that. that. Shall I add a, ask <laughs> us? Yeah. Yes. So that would be we way are, smoother, right? <laughs> we are probably 17 years away from the point where I, I would ever feel safe ordering a computer from a voice-controlled. Yes. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dove Bar in my living room or whatever. Well, that's strange because I do that all the time. 
Do you really? No, I meant yeah. me. I'm a, no, I'm yeah. just, I think, uh, boy, you know, maybe I'm an outlier. Because uh, well, I, mean, I think you could example. talk about the number of installed units. Yep. You can talk, but, but I, think, I don't think that's really germane to the conversation. Uh, you can talk about, the. I mean, the, I guess maybe when the Harman Kardon device comes out, that'll yeah. change things. But to me, even a voice assistant things. on the that's phone the isn't that useful. What is useful is something you can talk to as you walk around in your house yeah. without touching anything. And that's the only one, the only player right now is Amazon. I mean, we're going to see uh, Apple's HomePod. Well, well I think Google's, Google is, is actually a yeah, player Yeah, Google's there. getting on um, more speakers, and, and right? I wouldn't discount. Oh, Google has that Google. home thing, yeah. 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 But yeah. they have other third parties they announced today at mm -hmm. IFA um, who are also um, <laughs> so, doing that, right? So um, I think that's where LG. you want to be, though, right? I think you want to yeah. be... You want to be in home. In the home and as a kind of device in, you know, not really part of a device, just there. Oh, this is going to be mm. amazing.